Hey Tankers, Bunza Duck here. So today we have Night Dog in his T3485M. He's on Pilsen in a standard battle in a tier 8, tier 7, tier 6 game. So bottom tier, medium. But the T3485M is, you know, it's the premium uh, T3485. So I mean, it's it's got a nice hit and gun. It's got pretty good mobility. It's got some good, fairly good armor. It's just an all-around good tank. Well, probably a tier 6 premium that you would want to, you know, pick up. Anyway, Night Dog spawns in the in the well in the south <laughs> and looks to be headed over to the building. So Night Dog, take it away. I don't play my T3485 M as often as I should have. We got the usual heavy and medium breakout, you know, breakout to the east, breakout to the west. And Night Dog going all by his lonesome into the main building. Now, from here, you can sometimes get some shots over there in the field. Knocks down some doors. Looks like he's going to try to set up for maybe some side scraping. No. Let's see if anybody can... Oh, there's an IS-3 over there. Does get him spotted. IS-3 is looking for you. He's looking for you. Want to make sure that you don't get shot by him. What do we got over here? Everybody's gone dark. The P-43 Biss over there. And then they just smoked their <laughs> T-21. Or their 71 DA, it looks like. Well, your T-20 got smoked by their T-21. So. Problem with the T3485M, obviously, is it's a front hauled turret tank, turreted tank, so it's got a side scraping is kind of a pain. And IS3 looks like he wants to come and get a piece of you. This is dangerous because you could be easily seen from that hill over there. Spotted a T29, you got spotted. Shot into the T29. You are kind of sitting out in the open, though, Night Dog. Got to be careful about that. Shot up into the Nash Horn, who returns the favor. Nash Horn. No, no penetration into the side of the T-29. In the side of the turret, that is. There you go. Now you've returned. Got a good shot into him. I wonder where that IS-3 is. Oh, there he is. He still hasn't moved in on you. T-29 looks like he's gotten behind some cover there. There's a nice shot right into the rear end of him. He, uh, he, now I think he has an idea of where you're shooting him from. You shoot, he shoots, he misses, you hit. Nice, and the IS-3 is on fire and he's gone. There's another little shot into the T-29. There's just not much he can do. And they pretty much cleared, cleaned up the 9-0 line. You get a shot into the P-43. You get a piece of him. Oh, he just needs to come back a little bit. Just like that. There you go. Nice. And so Night Dog's just playing the middle here. Two into the P-43. Looks like, what's that? Ah, I can't tell. T-25-2. Maybe TS-5. Your heavies are swarming the T-150. You guys are ahead by 1,600 hit points. You've lost all of the uh, one, two, three land. What is an IS-3 doing over there? I'll tell you, this is before holiday ops, but you can see the Muppetry coming into play even before holiday ops took off. <laughs> but Night Dog's done quite well right here. Nice little position. I might have to remember this. If I find myself in a lower tier medium. Angus Young. I would think Angus Young would have been smart enough not to take his IS-3 up there. <laughs> Alright, well, they're 
charge, hard charging back towards their base because that's where you guys are all going. There goes the Artie. Can you get a shot on that 14-5? Yep. A little bit of something, something for him. There's a ball. Oh, oh. Uh, you didn't get that kill, but. <laughs> and that wasn't even the 14-5 that died. Okay. Maybe you did get something in Dan. All right, well, there he is again. He's pushed up for some more. He wants some more. There you go. Play another shot into him. And he's falling behind the pipes. They do have some TDs over there. There he goes. 14.5's down. TDs are pushing in. That IS-3 vacated the location, so there's no telling where those uh, TDs are at. But it's up to Night Dog to go in here and play Super Scout. There's a TS-5, and it looks like a J-Panther. And there's a T-20 around there somewhere. There's the, uh, what is that? That's a TS-5. One on base, that's probably the T-20. Night Dog's falling back. There's one on their base, one on your base. There's the J-Panther. There's a shot into him. Oh, tracking shot. He returns the favor. There you go. There you go. Nice. Right into the upper structure of that uh, J-Panther. T-20's still on base. J-Panther's trying to... He's blocking you. That IS-3 is doing absolutely diddly squat. But it looks like you guys are going to cap it. And you do. And that's a captured base. And that is a victory. Well, you got a second class out of that. Bruiser, fire for effect, 90,759 credits, 8,955 in experience. You did 2,370, 2, I'll learn to read, in damage. Didn't get any kills, but you got a base XP of 1,029. Let's see, 19 shots were fired of those 14 hit, and of those 13 penetrated, you did uh, 528 from 300 meters out, and you got 450 for assistance. Made some decent credits, made some, uh, you know, really good experience, honestly. Uh, you know, but um, all in all, I mean, it was a game where you were, I think you took your tank to the right position, obviously. Um, it worked well for you. Uh, you were able to farm that T-29. Didn't get any shots in the IS-3, but you were able to kind of keep both sides on us. And that allowed your heavies to kind of push in there, and then they just mauled them up while your other side just caved in like a box of crackers. But I think you played it well for being a low-tier medium. So that's Night Dog and his T-3485M on Pilsen in a standard battle. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Keep those videos coming. I greatly appreciate it. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. This is Bonsai Duck out.